has never stopped and will never stop surprising me. There are so many miracles in the world if we can really discover them. The whole world, seas, universe, oceans, fauna and flora carry so many secrets that have yet to be discovered by mankind. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Zulfizar, and three of such miracles known relatively recently will be discussed today in my speech. But before this, I would like to ask one question from you. What do you think? Is the level of salinity in the ocean and the sea the same or different? Please raise your hands, those who consider it to be the same. Thank you. In 1962, German scientists discovered that in the Strait of Bob el Mandeb, where the waters of the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea meet, the waters of the Red Sea and the Atlantic Ocean did not mix. Following the examples of their colleagues, French marine scientist Jacques-Yves Cousteau began observing whether the waters of the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean mix. They first explored the Mediterranean Sea, its natural salinity, density, and life forms, and then they did the same in the Atlantic Ocean. These two um, huge water masses have been meeting with each other at the Strait of Gibraltar for thousands of years, so it would be logical to assume that they have already been mixed, so their density and life forms should have been the same, or at least similar. However, to their and my great surprise, even in the places where they converge closest, each of them retained its own properties. That is, an invisible water curtain didn't allow them to mix. Upon discovering this obvious and incredible fact, um, scientist Jacques Yves Cousteau was really surprised. He said, I rested on my laurels on this amazing natural phenomenon which cannot be explained by the laws of physics and chemistry. And dear guests, here I would like to ask you one question. And look at this photo. What do you think? Did you know that the network of neurons in the human brain is identical to galaxies in the universe? Um, I once stumbled upon an article that made me freak out, so I really wanted to share its content with you. In 1978, expert members at NASA created a map of the universe with 20 meters of height and 20 meters of width, and then they hung it on the wall. Then the medical scientist from another country who was their guest that day, um, when he saw that map hanging on the wall, he couldn't stop himself from screaming. This is impossible. Uh, sorry, sir, what are you talking about? What is impossible, they asked. Please, don't say no. I beg you all, don't say no, please. And let me take you to one university in my country. It won't take long, he asked. And then they agreed. They all went there. Immediately leaving the plane, they went straight to the scientist's laboratory. But when they arrived, guess what? This time, aerospace engineers couldn't stop themselves from screaming. No, no, this cannot happen, this cannot happen. How can there be a connection between neuroscience and astronomy? And then the medical scientist trying to stay calm, but his hands trembling answered. So dear gentlemen, the photo you see on the wall is the extended version of human brain. It's amazing, it's fascinating, isn't it? For me personally, it's really interesting. That's why I'm sharing it with you. And another concept that baffles me is the infinity of universe. Most of us are, uh, are aware that space is endless, but did you also know that it was continuously expanding as well? Um, it wasn't until the 20th century that a human brain could um, discover that the galaxies were receding from each other. Um, even the brightest genius scientists, Arasto, Ptolemy, Giordano Bruno, and Newton, all indicated that space is endless, but none of them could actually mention that it was constantly expanding as well. Finally, Edwin Hubble, with the help of spatial telescope and Einstein's formula, um, could observe that galaxies were going away from each other and that the rate of expansion is directly proportional to the distance between them. That is, the farther the galaxy is, the faster it recedes, and that the world was created as a result of a Big Bang from a so tiny point about 10 or 15 billion years ago. It is a little bit to, to understand this notion, right? It is because we are humans and human brain is not limitless. We cannot embrace these theories. 
and it was difficult to believe in this concept, that Einstein himself, whose formula led to that conclusion, was skeptical of it first. And then it was also um, embra uh, faced in science in a classical, usual way with objection. No, this is impossible. Yes, as you see, nature is such a miracle. The whole world is such a mysterious place. Everything is a miracle for me. Even the sunrise and sunset is also a miracle. And at the end of my speech, I had one request for you, please. When you find time, please do research what I have talked about today. Because my time was limited, I couldn't touch on everything. There are so many miracles apart, apart from these three, and I really wanted you to learn more about them. Because the more you learn about them, the more beautiful your life will be. I'm more than sure that if you use your brain to learn more about them, and if you have the skill of seeing and discovering such miracles, your each and every day will also undoubtedly turn into a miracle. Thank you for the attention.